remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Potentially hazardous. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain! Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. In the middle of America, the Corn Belt, with fritters and gravy, I go out on a limb, they throw rocks at me. I become a hero. It's that simple. Okay, so we are looking at the WSA and Lil prediction. We had double coronal mass ejections, semi-earth facing, launched around the 4th, 5th, and 6th, and are headed towards Earth, getting here right about now. And I'm wondering, because no matter what, those are pushing solar wind and space in front of it. So the burst will probably be causing a push on Earth's upper atmosphere. And think of it like a balloon. So when you press on the balloon, it causes tornadoes and shit, right? Okay, that's a theory. It's a Thor News theory, but I predicted this tornado alley. Torn Terminata. Terminata. Tornado City. Winzilla that is coming. I live in Dallas, so I'm in the danger zone. Top gunning it, man. So I know that tornadoes are very serious, and people lose their lives, and people may lose their lives today and tomorrow. I might be one of them. So forgive me if I take a very serious subject lightly and allow me to remind you, no matter what type of jokes I tell or how stupid I get, subject is very serious. The sun's been fucking up. For a while, if you notice, pro side ain't talked about it much. That don't mean it ain't happening. Think of it like the economy, or don't. So the sun has fired off two coronal mass ejections in the last few days. And about the time they will be arriving, we get a giant swath of tornado danger alley. And I've said here for two and a half years at Thor News, strange space weather caused by strange solar activity means strange earth weather and I've been super duper correct the majority of the time sure I may get comets wrong sometimes <laughs> but I sure get weather right the majority of the time so all I'm saying is heads up everybody in the middle of America maybe nothing I'm gonna say my prayers for me you and every creature in harm's way maybe together we can avoid it with our minds but don't count on that prepare for the worst pray for the best so stock up Find friends with basements and figure out the best room. All right. God bless. People who think I may be over-dramatizing, I've just been watching overall weather trends, man. Climate is long-term, long-range. Weather is now and tomorrow, later this week. So we've been on a minute-by-minute, moment-by-moment, day-by-day weather basis since 2013, really. And the weather ain't getting any less strange. You feel me? God bless everyone. Winzilla, winner, win. No one knows all the facts about tornadoes, but meteorologists can detect the thunderstorm conditions that give birth to them. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. The event of April 27th and 28th, 2011, was the costliest convective storm in U.S. history. Normally, we can expect about 180 tornadoes each year in the United States. Of the 202 twisters that day, 62 tore through Alabama. Ten of them were ranked EF 4 and 5 on the enhanced Fujita scale. Three tornadoes churned paths more than 120 miles long, and a large number of the twisters cut swaths more than a mile wide. The tornado's parent is a thundercloud, and the vortex suddenly descends to rotate wildly along the earth in an upward spiraling motion. The funnel consists of air and moisture to which dust, mud, and debris are added by the inrushing winds. One discovery was how rapidly an EF-5 spun up near the small town of Hackleburg, Alabama.
The Hackleberg storm got its act together really quickly. This particular twister formed only 50 minutes after the underlying thunderstorm appeared. For comparison, the average time for tornado formation is two hours.